Hello, Nayeli. Hello, teacher. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Hi, thanks. Good. Okay. I think anybody else is coming. I have some news for you. <laughs> Next class, you are. Uh, doing a test for the first three units okay okay yeah well you are gonna start the test at 8 30 a.m but you will have like one day to to finish it okay in case you don't finish in class, but I'm gonna tell you about the details uh, on, on Thursday. Okay, so today we're gonna focus on some practice, okay, of the first three units, okay, the most important topics because the, the test focuses on on grammar, vocabulary, you know, maybe some reading. But it's gonna be really easy. So as you can see, we are here in lesson A, unit one. Okay. Here unit one. Okay. Do you remember about this? Yes. Yeah, present simple. Do you remember uh, in which situations we use present simple and the structure? He's coming. Okay, let's do the extra practice. Yes. So let's see. Jorge, how are you? Hello, good morning. Good morning. Okay, I was uh, telling Nadeli and Leo that next class you're gonna do a test for the first three units. So today we're gonna like check some topics, do some extra practice for you to remember the topics, to, to see it, to detect if you have some questions about any topic, okay? So let's start with present simple, okay? Present of the verb to be and simple present or present simple. Okay. So let's try to do this, these exercises. Here we have the first one. Are you a full-time student? Look at this. Here you have the verb you need to use. You need to use it in the correct form. And remember the auxiliaries for present simple. Could you tell me? The auxiliar. Do. Yeah, do and. Does. And does. Great, Nadeli. Okay, so uh, let's try to do it. Okay. Are you a full time student or? 
or 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 do you have a part time yeah. job or do you have a part time job Excellent. It will be difficult because I think the test is organized by units. So you will have unit one and the, the questions, and then unit two and unit three. Okay, so don't worry about it. And we are not going to test uh, speaking. That's what I want you to, to do it like as an activity today okay but later so do you have a part-time job okay well i'm not gonna ask you that question <laughs> what about number two how many brothers and sisters do you have you have yes So as you can see, when we ask something, first we need to you need to put or we need to write or we need to say the auxiliary. Then we have the subject and then we have the verb. That's like the question structure. Okay. We can have a question that needs to start with the auxiliary, or maybe we have a WH word or wh question how many where when what who why okay uh, number three what and look at this the verb to be the correct form of the verb to be what is what is yes Okay, it's on. Can I get the speaker? Uh, what about number four? Where do where does your best friend live? Excellent. Where does you notice that I'm right in time? <laughs> Yeah, we are we are talking about he or she, right? Okay. Um, what about the second question? Does he or she live near you? Okay, and I want you to tell me why we don't add an S to the verb. Why? Because you are using does, so you are... Like, are already doing the S part, right? Exactly. Yes, excellent. Remember that we only add the S to the verb in affirmative sentences and only when we have a third singular person. Okay, that's, yes. that's something big. <laughs> what about number five? Uh, what does your friend do? Sorry, your best friend do? Your best friend, Leo. And tell me, what does your best friend do? Uh, he's a commercial guy. <laughs> mm, I'm not sure if we say like that. It will be something like salesman. Oh, yeah, kind of, well.
Let me check that. Yeah, you you can say like a businessman, a seller, a trader. Oh my god, <laughs> dealer. Here we have no, not a dealer, right? <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> yeah, you can say businessman. Okay. What does your okay? Uh, is he or she a full-time student? Excellent. Well, that's not our case. As you can see, this book is like focused and um, and um, and students, right? Uh, next, number six. Look at the word neighbors in plural. What did you know? What? What are? Yeah. Um, yeah. Up here, but see, okay. Yeah. What are your neighbors like? Um, can you tell me what you do you understand in, um, with this question? Like, what does the question mean? For example, Nayeli, if I ask you, um, what are your neighbors like? What would you answer? They are. They are, excellent. They are, and could you describe them, please? <laughs> they are polite. Okay. Um, And I think that they work a lot because they are not um, in their houses. Oh. That's good. <laughs> But they okay. help you when you need. Oh, that's nice of them. Good. Okay. Excellent. Well, uh, tell me the second question. Are they friendly? Are they? Yes. So they are, right, Nayeli? Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. What about number seven? How often do you get English homework? Exactly. Not very often, right? No, not really. Once a well, week. Yeah, and you don't do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Second question. How long? Does it take? Does it take? Tell me, how long does it take? In case you do it, right? Like, what? Half an hour. Okay, perfect. So, do you understand the meaning of this question? How long does it take? I think so. Okay, yeah, like how much time do you need to do their homework? Okay. Uh, number eight. Uh, do you and your friends go out on Saturday, Saturday nights? Yes. 
what do you do? Excellent. Do you uh, hear? Well, what? what? And I'm gonna finish the question because it's what well, uh, do you do? Okay. Please notice that if we have a question, okay, in which we need verb to be, we can add another verb. When we have a question in which we use the auxiliary, we can't use verb to be, okay. So, oh, what do you do? So, uh, tell me, um, Jorge, do you and your friends go out on Saturday nights? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm very... <laughs> tired. Yeah. Me yeah, too. sorry, tired is a, it's a correct word to, to define. <laughs> me too, I always say, I'm going to stay up late. I'm going to do a lot of things. And then I fall asleep like at 10 or 11. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. What about number nine? How? How do your family spend that Sundays? Yeah, how do your family? Okay, spend Sundays. Okay, tell me Nayeli. Please answer the question. Okay. Well, please uh, do the second question and then you can answer. Sorry. Do you get together for lunch? Yeah. Uh, well, my family and I, we um, always play basketball <clears throat> um, in a basketball league. Wow. Um, Benito Juarez. Uh, uh, what is the name? Delegación? I don't know the name. Okay. I don't know how to say it, but... We stopped doing it uh, during the pandemic, and actually, we are starting playing this Sunday, on this next Sunday. Okay. So after that, we go to lunch. We used to go to Casa de Toño. And then... Um, we we go to stores uh, or malls. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. You exercise. You spend time with your family, and then you 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 do something else to relax, right? Exactly. Yeah. That's. That's great. Okay, what about the last one? Does your neighborhood have a nice park? Exactly. So tell me, Leo, uh, I know you have children, right? So tell me. Does your neighborhood have a nice park? Uh, not actually. There's not a park uh, close to my house. Okay. Uh, so... you, well, you can say near. Okay. Near my house without the two. Near my house, near my job. Okay. Got it. Uh, so we need to take the car to. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. To go to go to Yeah, to go to uh, to a park. 
to, to go anywhere. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Do you have questions? Do you think if you didn't have like the verbs here in brackets, you could you do the exercise? I think we could do it, but maybe we change the the verbs. Verbs. Or some that could match. Okay. Well, I don't see that like that's a big problem <laughs> as long as you use a uh, another proper verb. Okay, let's see. Do you remember to and either? Yep. Yeah. So do you remember that either is more common? Okay. Look at this, that we use to when we have an affirmative statement. Look at this, I'm not either, I don't either, I can't either. Here we have an, a negative statement. Do you remember that? Yes. Okay, so let's practice a little bit. Okay. Here you are supposed to write responses. So for example, I sleep late on weekends. Maybe your, your response is not going to be the same, but tell me. Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> what about Leo and Jorge? Uh, it depends, but usually me too. Okay. Yeah. I don't. I don't sleep late on weekends. I can't. <laughs> I'm too tired. Okay, what about number two? I don't live near a subway. Me neither. We don't have a subway in Morelia. Okay, uh, I, I, I don't, don't, I don't either. either. Yeah. What about Nayeli? I don't either. Okay. Oh, well, and look at this. Here we have like the same information I just gave you, uh, we don't use to, to respond to negative statements, okay. Um, I'm an only child. Well, I'm not. Neither no. Excellent, Nayeli. Okay, you can say neither am I. Because okay. look, we don't have do, here we have verb to be. Okay. Ah, okay. Yes, yeah, you need to, to answer or to respond using the structure you are given, right? Okay. okay. What about number uh, four? I'm not a baseball fan, fan, sorry. I'm not either. What about you? I, I, I'm not here. Perfect. I have two brothers. I am two. Well, you say I have uh, two brothers, two. Oh, I do too. Okay. Okay. Don't, don't use verb to be because we you don't have verb to be. Here you, know, you are using another verb. Okay. Well, what about number six? I can't stand soap operas. Okay. 
Do you know what is the meaning of this? Yes. Okay. Leo, Jorge, do you know? No, I'm not. Telenovelas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you see the, in English, of course, the word novel. Yeah, novel. That's like the, like the writing, you know? Okay, Nayeli, no problem. Okay, go. No problem. Okay, uh, I love reality shows. I don't. What about you? I don't either. I don't either. Okay, and last one. I can stand on my head. Do you know what is the meaning of that? No, that's not literally right. <laughs> I mean, it could be. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> I don't know how can I explain that. Yeah, like the ability. Pararse de cabeza. Well, I can't. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay. Well, I think we don't have like much in common. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you have questions about this? Uh, how many of your students respond uh, affirmative this last question? <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand in my head. Well, I haven't asked. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me change to the next activity. Oh, please, could you leave the session and come back? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Session. This is exactly the same, but this is more common. Okay. Do you remember that? And of course, with enjoy, please, uh, ing form. But as I told you, this is the same, but this is more common. So are you ready to do the extra practice? Or do you have a question? Uh, and please, I have something to tell you. We didn't have time to check vocabulary. Please do it <clears throat> as homework. Okay, remember we have this test on Thursday. And please uh, remember to finish. Uh, recreate activities. Okay. You have until <laughs> until Thursday. Okay, to finish recreo. Okay. 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 Well, let's do the extra practice activities then. Okay. Here, you have to complete the sentences with the correct forms, okay, of the verbs that you have here, okay. And two answers, okay, are possible, more than one, it's correct. So for this activity, I'm gonna give you a few minutes, okay, relax, try to do it, and then we check. Okay. Remember 
infinitive form or the ing form. Both are possible. One is more common, right? So let me know when you are ready, like in three minutes, okay? Or so. Oh, and remember that with this verb, we use only one of the forms we checked. Sorry, I can hear you the, the last part. Oh, that remember with, with enjoy. Look at this. We only use ing, okay. I enjoy reading, I enjoy swimming, I enjoy hmm, playing football, I enjoy okay. whatever, okay? Okay, thank you. Is extra here? Everything okay, Nayeli? Yeah, yes, teacher, thank you. I have a, a call that I have to, to answer. Okay, don't worry. Okay, uh, we are doing this uh, activity about verb forms. Uh, do you remember that? Like, love to, like to. Uh, yes, I think so. I'm gonna, please, please, please uh, let me tell Nayeli about, about this. Okay, remember that we use can or can't uh, to talk about abilities. Okay. Uh, we use love, like, hate, prefer, you know, to talk about what we like. But we have two possible forms, the infinitive form and the ing form, right? Just remember something with enjoy, we use ing, okay, only ing, and we have, sorry, I forgot to tell you this, 
I go like or I'd like okay. to express something that we want to do. Okay, I go like and this form only only uses the infinitive. I forgot to tell you that. Okay. Okay. Well, and this one have other uses, you know, like to make offers and to ask something in a polite way. But here, just remember that only with the infinitive and enjoy only with ing. Okay, continue. Well, um, Leo, Jorge, uh, are you done? Okay, maybe no. we can. Nope. <laughs> okay, maybe we can start uh, checking, and, and then uh, you can you can write the answers if you want. What about number one? Do you like to perform on stage? To perform on stage, yeah. Uh, is there another possible answer? Um, I don't know, maybe, do you like performing on, on the stage? Yeah. Okay, I recommend, I recommend you that you choose the form you want to use, okay? Don't mix uh, structures. Okay, that is something I was told when I was at college that if you are gonna start with, do you like uh, to perform? The next mm -hmm. thing you say, you don't use now ing. Okay, that if you say to perform, he here you say to do. Okay, but don't be like, do you like to perform? Uh, I love doing. Okay, like don't mix. Okay. okay. Yes, I enjoy. Well, here we have just one possible answer. Acting. Acting, yeah. I enjoy acting. Okay. Uh, next. No, I don't. I hate. Uh, doing anything like that in public? Yeah, or we can say to do. To do. To do. Uh, what about number uh, two? Okay, here there is just one possible because we have a preposition. Are you interested in learning to Skype? Yeah. To ski. To ski, yep. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I would like, I I put to take. Yeah. <laughs> ski lessons. Yeah. I. But because of the thing that you already told us, <laughs> maybe she'll be taking the ski lessons. No. With the, with I go like, we only use infinitive form, okay? Okay. With uh, no, not really. I prefer to stay indoors in the winter. Okay, to stay or stay in. Okay. For verbs like hate, like love, for that kind of verbs, we can use to or ing. Okay, but for example, with enjoy, there is just one possible answer, right? With I go like, okay? Like, don't get confused about the other. Okay, let's continue. Uh, skill lessons, now we for today. What about number three? And you dance? Yes, we are talking about an ability. 
Okay. Yes, I can, but I hate to go to discos and dances clubs. Yeah. Or we can say going. Yeah. Well, I was going to ask you that, but I already know, Najeli, that you're a good dancer. So what about Leo? Please answer the question. Uh, I think I can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> maybe I'm not good at all. <laughs> okay, thank you. What about Jorge? Uh, no, I can't. I have, uh, I have two left legs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think that me too. I, I haven't done it in a while. Okay, what about letter C? I can't dance at all. Dance at all. But I like watching dance shows on TV. Okay. Or What? Excellent. Oops. Okay, last one. Do you enjoy okay. to go to the movies? Mm. It's going. Going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great. So tell me, Leo, do you enjoy it? Yeah. Yes, I do. Uh, I I like to go, but it's difficult because of the kids. Yeah, <laughs> I have the same problem. And so, I yeah. usually I usually go to see. Movies for kids. Oh, it's very sad. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Do you fall asleep? Uh, not actually. I usually like them, but <laughs> <laughs> you enjoy them more than your more than kids. Like it, yeah, sometimes <laughs> it happens. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, yes, I really like. To watch movies on the big screen. Watch or watch, right? Um, last one. Uh, yeah, I prefer to watch movies at home. Okay. okay. Questions, comments? about this no okay please uh, remember to study object pronouns do you have uh, the extra practice part in your books or not I think you have this section, right? I don't know. I'm not sure. Let me check. Yeah, please. Page 141. Because I like to check the last topic. Okay. 
I'm not sure if it's my book, but I only have to 72 page. Really? Well, um... yeah, Nayeli, okay, I'm not. Do you have the same? Uh, no. Actually, okay, but it, it, I, I just got a message that says that you will find plenty of Ruby activities in Recreo for the test next. Okay. So don't so worry about it. Do homework. Okay. <laughs> well, it's not like, yeah, you, you should do it. You should. It will help you. But I'm sure that you don't need it because you already are good. And I just noticed that the other teachers are like behind us, you know. They are in units. Um, this is, yeah. And units um, four, and we are already in unit six. So maybe we can go a bit slower. <clears throat> yes, here we have like seven minutes to talk about a simple prison and prison continuous. I think this this is easy, right? Let's try to complete the sentences. Okay. Do you remember the difference between simple present and present continuous? Yep, we need to add ing to the verb. Yeah, well, verb to be and we need to add ing. But the difference in I'm talking about the use for each one. Ah, got it. Uh, present continuous is something that we are doing right now. Right now, yeah. And simple present, we use it for our routines, you know, our, our habits, okay. like to express general information. For example, I live in Jalapa, I work at, at, at college, for example, <laughs> okay? Well, let's try to do the exercise. Okay, look at, look at the first one, try to do it. My friend and I are training for marathon. Okay, remember that we use these words, do you remember the name? Adverbs of frequency. Okay, with simple present. Okay. So let's try to complete the first one. Training for a marathon, I normally take, I normally take the bus work but these days okay something that is happening around <laughs> okay but these days I I'm walking yeah I'm walking all the way normally this is what I do but uh, these days around this time I'm walking all the way and my friend, these days, is spending a lot of time. Is spending. Time. Excellent. What about number two? I usually drink a lot of soda, but right now, right now I am no. drinking water instead. Okay. Are you Leo? <laughs> Are you drinking water? Uh, yeah, I usually drink water, but 
I mean, uh, on weekends, it's difficult. <laughs> yeah, of course. Let's let's not <laughs> mention what we do on weekends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this month we okay, this month. We are getting up early. Yeah. Um, go running. Mm, but look at this. This month. I'm going running. Okay. Yes. And le look at this. But generally. Well, generally, we both sleep late on the weekends. Yes. Okay. Can you notice the difference? This month, not all the time. No. Yes. Okay. Number four. Look. A negative statement. Since we have usually here, it means that we need to use present simple, simple or simple present. Yes, so tell me. My friend don't use a prefix. Don't? Doesn't. Yes, <laughs> excellent. But now, He's got having eggs every morning. Perfect. Okay, we have time for the last one. I love cheesecake, but this month I'm not eating desserts. Oh, that's sad. Okay. Okay, our friends are complaining because we are not taking cookies to school right now. Um, oh, well, with this kind of verb, it's not like common. But yeah, our friends complaining or complain because we are not taking cookies to school right now. Okay, well, we don't have time to discuss this, but we finished. Okay, do you have questions? No. no. Okay, so class is over, you can go. Thanks, Carol. Uh, Thank study, you. please. <laughs> yep. See ya. See you. Bye. Bye. Have a good day.